Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Thursday. So welcome, this is a fun new little video that I'm doing for y'all. If you saw my video on Tuesday, you would know that I've now opened an Etsy shop, which is super cool, the link to it will be below. And today I'm gonna show you how I DIY'd some of these shirts. They are Tumblr inspired DIY graphic tees, and if you don't wanna make them yourself, you don't have to. You can just head over to the Riley Kyle on Etsy, which is me, and you can order some. But if you do feel like making some similar to the way I have made them, continue to watch this video, it'll be super, super crazy and I'm so excited to do this with you guys. The shirts turned out really, really good and I really hope you enjoy watching this style of DIY-ish video. So it should be fun, ah! Without further ado, let's hop into the video. All right guys, so for this DIY, the things you are going to need are a cutting board, first of all, so you don't cut anything. You are going to need some sponge brushes, preferably. You are going to need a t-shirt of your choice, a stencil of the thing you wanna put on the shirt. You're gonna need some fabric paint of your choice again and you are going to need a box cutter and I have also forgotten to mention that you are also going to need tape for this project so the first thing you have to do is cut out your stencil and I have to go one by one cutting out all the letters of the words that I am putting onto my shirt and it is a little time consuming that's why having a box cutter or an exacto knife is really nice because it makes it a lot easier and you're just not gonna be able to do it with scissors to be honest so you're gonna be able to go through and be very careful when you're cutting out letters especially because it's very easy to go too far over. And After you're done cutting all of your letters out, you're going to measure how far away from your neck you would like to put your stencil or thing for your shirt. So I, that is what I am doing right now. I am figuring out where I want my stencil to go and then I am taping down the stencil so it does not move when I start to paint it. Now I'm gonna take some paint, put it on a paper towel to use as kind of like a palette and I'm going to take my small sponge brush and start dabbing it on over the stencil. Now you wanna be very, very very careful because you do not want to get the paint under where the stencil is which is kind of the point of the stencil so you don't mess it up so you want to make sure you dab it and not like stroke it just, just so, so you can make sure that it doesn't get everywhere and this is also pretty time consuming so make sure you have a good YouTube playlist on preferably my videos you know how it goes now once you get all that done you're going to want to very carefully lift, lift the, the tape up off of the stencil and off of the shirt and then you're going to want to carefully again so you don't mess up the paint on the shirt pull the stencil off of the shirt and then you are there and sat with your fully designed t-shirt now you just gotta leave it to dry and then you'll be good to go. Now for this second design, I am going to freehand the drawing of an alien head on a piece of paper that I'm going to put in between the front and the back of the shirt so I can trace it onto my shirt because we are making a Tumblr inspired alien t-shirt because I see those everywhere and they are super duper fun. So once I trace that all out, I am going to put it in between the t-shirt so it kind of shows through on the white shirt. And then I'm going to trace over it very carefully with my bottle of puffy paint. I'm not really leaving it puffy. I'm making it as flat as possible. And I'm just outlining it now so I have like a general outline for the alien head. Once I got all done with that, I'm going to take some green puffy paint now. And you'll notice that I use puffy paint for all of this because it 100% stays on shirts forever. I'm going to take some green puffy puffy paint and I'm going to start dabbing it on kind of like I did before within the little outline of the alien head and I'm going to make sure that I have the green all covered up and in there so it looks all cute and stuff. Then I left it overnight to dry and I'm going to use a pen to freehand some eyes onto the alien and I'm also going to go around and touch up the outline because I got some green on it while I was going over it with the green and then I'm going to go in and do the eyes and I put the eyes on with the pencil first and then I went straight on with the paint and did two little dashes for the nose and you are good to go with your alien now it's just time to let it dry and that is it it is cute as fuck go wear it go wear it out in public go post it on your tumblr it is hot now for this last DIY I am doing a little long neck dinosaur t-shirt so I'm going to do exactly what I did with the first DIY and take my stencil that I found on clip art and print it out and I'm going to cut out the little dinosaur shape with my exacto knife and it's easier to use an exacto knife than a box cutter I had a box cutter here but trust me exacto knives are a lot better because, because they're more accurate so try to use an exacto knife if you can but I'm just going to 
to cut all of that out. And once I get all that cut out, I'm going to repeat the steps for the first DIY. And I'm going to take the stencil down to the shirt where I would like it. And that is that. And then I'm going to start painting and doing the same dabbing effect that I did with the very first DIY. Because again, you don't want to get the paint under where the stencil is. That's kind of like the whole point and purpose of the stencil. And then once you get that done, carefully take the stencil with the tape off of the t-shirt and you are good to go. Now you just got to let these bad boys dry overnight and you are ready. You have shirts that can be washed over and over again and the designs are not going to come off because that's how great puffy paint is. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed these DIYs. Well, did you like it? Did you like it? I worked really hard on this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. What was your favorite t-shirt that I made? If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, you totally should because I post two videos a week. This is the second video this week, one on Tuesdays, one on Thursdays. So that's two videos a week coming your way. And again, if you don't want to make these shirts yourself, you totally don't have to. You can head over to my Etsy shop and purchase them. They are up for sale. They are cool. Go check them out. If you want, you can follow me on all of my social media, which is at the Riley Kyle on all platforms as well as all of my little space stuff which is like his little space so if you feel like you want to go follow me there too you totally can that's all for today I hope you enjoyed a lot I really really hope you did I worked really hard on this I love you and I will see you on Tuesday okay bye